Boom. Welcome back to another episode of Nick at Night. I wanted to give a big shout out to all you guys for going crazy on the last podcast. You guys are showing mad love. And today we have another banger on the fucking way. Um, big shout out to my homie, Christian Blends. Yeah. What's going on? What's going oh, on, yeah, guys? Yeah. It's your boy, Christian Blends. Boom. So he just moved in. <laughs> that, that's hard. That's a good ass intro. Yeah. So he just moved to OC. So, you know, we had to get him on the pod instantly. So, Very um, close. He's our neighbor. Yeah. Oh, I didn't Real. bring the. F- the what? Uh. Anyways, um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So start. Explain to your crowd who you are and how pretty much you got here. All right, Christian Blends. Um, pretty much, you guys know I'm a YouTuber slash barber, but mainly like a barber. That's how I mainly started. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm originally from a city called Vacaville. That's where I was born and raised. Yeah. It's about maybe six, seven hours, like if you go driving. <laughs> Up north. It's up north. Isn't it by Sacramento? By Sacramento. <sighs> Literally by Sacramento. Maybe it's like 30 minutes away from Sac. Damn. Oh, yeah, Dude, so I, I was born and raised over there. And um, yeah, a little story, you know. Yeah. Um, After high school. Okay, my first job. Actually, my first job. Uh, I was 15. I, uh-huh. was, a, I was a newspaper boy. Uh, I used to uh, knock at people's door uh, to sell it like newspaper subscriptions. Yeah. So it would be like 20 bucks for a whole year. Blah, blah, blah. And then after I turned 16, like the legal age, um, I work at a restaurant called El Pollo Loco. Oh, like, <laughs> like no one's heard of it. He's like a restaurant called El Pollo Loco. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I still eat that shit. Too. Yeah, that shit's like, gas. It's, it's fire, bro, their mac and cheese. Know? And then whenever I order some shit, I'm gonna hear a drive through. It's like, oh, we can give you no salsa. It can't be this shit. Like, what, the, what do you mean? You yeah, can? bitch, like, I used to work I know right all here. this shit. You know, like, I just don't tell them. Like, yeah. You know? Like, all right. Cool, I used to work know? here. Yeah. By the way, we don't give a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, oh, so shit. I went for a fucking selling subscription, selling newspapers to working uh, a pollo local. I was a fucking cook, fucking doing everything, making burritos. I was 16 years old, and then I wasn't even supposed to be cooking, but I wanted to yeah. do everything. Like do I do it all? Might as well learn uh-huh. it, yeah. you know. And then, um, so yeah, I was there for two years, and uh, there's a Wells Fargo across the street, so that's where I had my first bank account. So I go ahead and cash my checks there. I'll see the tellers like every two weeks, and then they. Me hella tough, so they wanted me to work there, but it, I was like super too young, young at that yeah. time. So, um, they waited for me to I turn 18, like, hey, what's up, guys? You know, I just turned 18, yeah, later on, I graduate high school, and so yeah, like, literally, all I had to do is apply, and then like, I literally got hired, yeah. So, yeah, I was a bank teller for about like six months. Six months later, I got f-ing promoted to a banker, so I was a f-ing 18 year old f-ing personal banker, so like, you go to the f-ing bank you see a fucking 18 year old skinny kid yeah like right now i'm like skinny and look fucking like i don't even look like my age i feel yeah, like yeah. i look younger than my age so when i was 18 i actually looked like i was like 16 13 yeah. 14 bro like for real like this guy's about to fucking um uh, just uh uh do an auto loan for me <laughs> fucking do it my yeah, mortgage you're like a little ass kid you know <laughs> So, yeah, I actually, I was pretty good at my job. So, it was kind of like, so, since I already did sales, so I always, like, upsell. Like, okay, you're going to do a bank account. Okay, like, now we're going to um, get you a credit card. We're going to yeah. build your credit and go on for And then, um, man, so you guys want to know, like, how I became a barber? Yeah. Yeah. So, I tell this story to everybody, like, on the podcast and stuff. So, when I was 19, bro, I got a fucking DUI. Ooh, I oh, so, yeah. shit. So, I was already, off. like, partying and drinking. Honestly, I had to come into me because I was already drinking driving yeah. a lot. So, like, I don't do it anymore. After, like, um, the first time I got a DUI, I, like, just learned my lesson. So, yeah, I don't fucking do that anymore. Was it, like, after a party or what? Yeah, so, it was after a party. Uh, it was literally, like, probably, like, 10 minutes away from back. It was called Dixon. Um, so I was literally leaving the party and it was me and my homie. He was like 21 at the time. And then my other homie, he was 17 at the time. Yeah. So yeah, we ended up like, I guess I fell asleep. I hit the sign and divider of the oh, freeway. So oh, crash. crash. Yeah, I crashed oh, and we flipped and oh, shit. we landed on the side of the freeway. Bro, it was bad. I had a little Honda Civic, like stick, stick shift. It was like 96, 97. Damn. Like, you know, like I was no in a little car club. Like, <laughs> yeah. Can't, straight pipe i think i was going hella fast you know <laughs> that's just hella slow it's just hella, <laughs> hella loud for no reason yeah you know so yeah it was all bad bro but like luckily like i got out of that car bro nothing bro like no scratches no nothing you got a seatbelt on and like yeah i seatbelt on good uh air came, air came out wait so uh, how drunk were you when you had crashed okay so i blew 0. 0.24 
Damn. So this will happen, bro. Like we got an owl, my homie in the front, he still was cool, but then my homie in the back, he like split his head. Oh and shit. He was seventeen. So oh. like we're like and literally, bro, there's like a hospital, like maybe like like the next exit, bro. <laughs> Kaiser. I don't know if you, there's a Kaiser. Yeah, 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 Kaiser. Yeah, 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 Kaiser. Bro, we started booking it. We started booking and running, running. So there's a car that pulls up right now. This was like three in the morning, bro. Yeah. Like the freeway was empty. And a car pulls up. It's like, hey, like, are you guys okay? You guys need help? Like, and I was like, dude, like, can you guys take us to the hospital? It's like right here. And he was like, no, we can't. I'm sorry. I'm like, what? what? A dick. They, what are you asking? Like, what do you even fucking <laughs> pulled up, bro? Like, <laughs> shit, just kept driving. Right like, it took off. We're like, what the? F-? So we started booking it again, bro. We started booking it, <laughs> but like, and then we just hear the fucking sirens, bro. I think that person called the cops. Yeah, probably bro. saw some crazy shit. Cops pulled up for ambulance or whatever, and then obviously I was a. Driver, they probably so. thought that you guys were running away, yeah. I don't know from the something. scene, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, I would yeah, 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 you know. At that time, bro, I was like 19, I didn't even know about DUI, yeah, bro, getting, to in be honest. Like like, yeah. getting in trouble, like trouble. I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Did you sober up after you got into the accident? Or oh, yeah, still bro, like, I was fucking like, uh, but I know I was still intoxicated, yeah, yeah like, you still blue, but I literally, like, for sure, like, woke up, yeah, hell sure. yeah. Well, I mean, she only flipped, so yeah, um, so yeah, they ended up like, um. They wanted to breathalyze me or whatever, but I was like, nah, I'm cool, whatever. I don't know why. I <laughs> That's smart, rejecting, though. You know? That's really smart. So they took me to the hospital. It was, like, right there, bro. They took blood or whatever, and I guess, like, I was point twenty four. Mm. So uh, um, Damn, that means if it was point twenty four, and So it was point zero one at that time, so okay. you're under 21. So uh, they got me with 24 times my <laughs> level. Holy shit. Kyle endangerment and bodily injury. Damn, bro. They, wait, was, what, what, what's the second one? Uh, bodily injury, like because the kid in the back got yeah, hurt. Yeah, he got oh, hurt. Oh shit. So yeah, so I went to jail that night, bro. I was like, "Fucking what the?" F-? Yeah. So I didn't know at that time that I was just gonna be there for like the night. Or you thought whatever. you were done? I thought I was done, bro. Like, fuck, I do not want to be here, bro. Like, there was a bunch of like older people here. Like, yeah. somebody was taking the shit right there. Bro. <laughs> at the, like little holding cell. Yeah. Sucks. Only, I was like this so i'm over here in the f- bell bonds bell bonds <laughs> at that time bro i was making money already i work at poor local like, yeah i got some bread or whatever yeah. okay i got a f- bond i think it was like twenty thousand twenty five thousand or whatever yeah so f- it, i'll pay for like whatever yeah, the, i ten percent so i bailed out bro and honestly i didn't even have to bail out like they would have released you in the morning release me so i f- spent like 2500 for nothing, for nothing. you know so then from there like, you know uh i was 19 um a uh, couple weeks later, I turned 20, and then it literally took like a year to fucking like for my like court to date. get convicted yeah. and all that shit. Literally every month I was going to fucking like court. I fucking hated it. So then they were trying to get me like three years in prison, like 85 percent or some shit. Did the and then your homie that was 17 that split his head? Did his like parents or family they, try coming at you? So they didn't press charges because we grew up. Together. Oh, like, that's cool. That's like, cool. We're we're close. That's you good. Know? Yeah. Um. I don't, I don't speak to him anymore, but at that time, we were, like, super, really super tight, close. Yeah. We are tight, so he didn't press charges or nothing like that, so we are cool. And then, um, so, yeah, uh, I got convicted, but uh, I had a good lawyer, so we brought it down to uh, house arrest because I had no fucking, like, priors. priors. On yeah. I work at a Wells Fargo. Yeah, you had a good job. You know, good job. And did you then, lose your job after that? I did lose my job. Because <sighs> of that or just because you couldn't go to work? Because I couldn't go to work. Yeah, oh. but not because of the yeah whole incident okay yeah yeah so then um i did two months house arrest my summer of when uh t- like before i was in church 21 mm-hmm. so that summer because my birthday is in october mm. so i was i did my whole summer in house arrest so i was like what the f- am i gonna do like what am i gonna do so that's when i bought a pair of clippers i got two brothers i got an older brother and a younger brother and to this day, if you scroll down my Instagram, 2015, That's like you'll see my I posted my first taper, my first fade, and all my homies, fucking like, um, they were just the homies. They were fucking like support, yeah. and they'll pull up. That's cool. To my garage, where I was cutting them up, and then three months later, or well, after house arrest, or I got fucking like good three months, and then so I started posting. I was trying five bucks, seven bucks, ten bucks, and then Damn, so yeah, after house arrest, you start DK? after house arrest, fucking um. Uh, my license was still suspended because I was under 21, yeah. and then I got cut up twice driving under suspended license. So I didn't f-ing learn, bro. I was like, yeah. Still c- I mean, shit, me too. Yeah. So I got cut under driving suspended license. So then the judge didn't like that shit. So um, 
That was, this was October 10. My birthday is October 17. Uh. So a week before I turned 21, he booked me in there for three months. So I got out like, well, it wasn't three months. I got out a week before Christmas. Oh, wait. So, so you went to jail for three yeah, months? Yeah, I went to jail. at county jail in Solano. How, how was that? Bro, the first week, bro, like, I ain't lie, bro. I fucking cried. Like, Hell yeah, yeah I will cry too. What the fuck? So I was there for a whole week because it's called classification. So it's 23-hour lockdown. Damn. Yeah. What the fuck you do? Yeah, 23-hour <laughs> lockdown, bro. You can only get out for an hour to shower or get on the phone or whatever. So uh, it's called classification. So they're deciding where to put you. Well, yeah. You know, like, are you a fucking gangbanger or you're like, you you're know, a regular, person. regular person or whatever. And I was my regular person. Yeah. So I, but I still remember, bro, when they put me in, I was like, fuck, like, I'm really going to be in here. And she was and, running through your head. Bro. And then our hour was up, right? Boom, 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 boom. All the fucking doors. And we're like, new booty, new booty. I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I probably, bro, no cap, I would have For real, bro. I would have like, off something. I would have clenched so my shit. Like, yeah, I, get, I got out or whatever. Bro, some Mexican fool fucking check me, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, where you from? Where you bang? Or whatever. Like, like, and I told, I told him where I'm from. Like, I don't bang or whatever. So I told him I'm from Vacaville. This guy was from Napa. And and then... um. He being north there. There's a lot of north there. Yeah, yeah. Southern. Oh, there's it's yeah. North so then, south, no? uh, he told me I'm from Vacaville, and then I told him like all the homies that I know from Vacaville. So like, okay, he knew them. So like, I was good. Oh, uh, that's you know? a fly. So I was like, I was good. So then whatever, they put me in. So I was in a uh, 23 hour lockdown for a week. After that, they moved me to a 22 hour lockdown for two more weeks. After that, um, uh, I was a nobody. So they put me in the, in the dorms. So dorms, you're like with probably like 30 people in there. Mm. Uh, but you have more like freedom. Mm -hmm. You can walk around, use the restroom whenever you want. Uh, just a microwave. There's a TV, so it, it wasn't too bad for the It wasn't ending. too bad, you know. I mean, it's still jail. Shit sucks, yeah, but so but you still had to pick your side, bro. Like honestly, in that cell, bro, like the blacks took over. So fuck. What's up, brother? Yeah, bro. So all I had to do is fucking work out with them, bro. Every morning, every night, and we had the first. We had um uh, uh privilege of the TV. And all that shit. That's I wild. saw a lot of shit in there, bro. It was kind of jail. Imagine, like, fucking prison. It would probably be Yeah, crazier. prison. Yeah, yeah bro. Fuck, bro yeah. Like, it was crazy. I saw some Norteño, like, fucking knock this uh, white boy because he saw a, a one and he saw a three. So he thought, like, he was a Sureño. Yeah. But he had a two and a three. It's a 23 letter of the alphabet. Of it. It's a W. So, yeah. like, white power or whatever. So oh, it was a mistake. Shit. So then now the white people got him. It was a bunch of shit going yeah, on. Yeah, that's bro. fucked. And, and, like, how did you, like, you just stayed out of it and hope, like, they oh, yeah, I stayed out of it. So I had a bunky, like, uh, like a celly. Uh -huh. So me and this fool were just, like, he was hella cool. And oh, then thank God. When I, even when I got out, like, I gave him my number. And then when he got out, he called me, bro. This was months later. Oh, I was shit. like, who the fuck's calling me? And I honestly forgot his name. But yeah, he called me. He got out. He fucking pick him up. I was like, yeah, it's good. I picked him up and I dropped him oh, off cool. wherever he was gonna go. And I don't even know what happened, happened to him. Hopefully he's good. But <laughs> after that, just gone. Well, what Bro. was he in for? Do you remember? Oh, fuck, I don't remember. But something about his girlfriend or, or something. Uh, oh, probably yeah. domestic. Yeah, yeah. Shit. probably. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So yeah. I I was I was even cutting hair in there too, for like uh for soups. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, so for we get suits? the Clippers like once a week and shit. The hustle don't yeah. stop, my boy. Bro, like, how, how, yeah, I mean, how'd you okay. get the Clippers? Wait, yeah, how you, you, how were you cutting? Because they'll give us a Clipper. Like, uh, it's a wall Clipper with a half guard, one and one and a half. That's it. He was like, with my prison wallet. That's I it. Know, that's <laughs> it, bro. And then that's and you're it. still just cutting. Well, fuck, it's better yeah, than no head. They'll give me a soup, soup. So that's like how you survive. Just bread fix at fucking four in the morning, fucking cereal or a piece of bread. Ten in the morning is just lunch, bologna sandwich every day, bologna sandwich. Damn. And then uh, dinner is 4 p.m. After that, you don't eat. You don't eat. So unless you get, put money in your books, mm -hmm. and, then you can and buy I was eating my family support, like they fuck with me. Yeah, I was eating I'm like good, bro. I got out of there, bro. I fucking gained hella weight, bro. I gained <laughs> You're hella the only person weight, bro. To get fucking fat yeah, in jail. that shit was crazy, bro. I st I still have a video on Snapchat, bro. Like I got out, bro. I was That's like a fucking crazy fit, ass bro. story. Wait, so what, like, what year was this when you got out of jail? When I got, got out, so I was 21. So I'm 28 now. Uh -huh. So seven years ago, it was 20, okay. I'll be 29 Damn, this you're year. You're 28. Yeah. Yeah, you do look young as fuck. I'll be 29 this year, so it's 2023, so what, uh, eight years ago? So yeah. this was like fucking, like what, 2011? Damn. No, no, no. No, 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 no,
30 years off. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. it was 2016. <laughs> it's like 2011. But yeah, so that's initially how I started getting hair, bro. So then uh, I got out, whatever. Um, once I got out, uh, Wells Fargo did not accept me because like um, I had a felony. Yeah, yeah so you can only yeah, work. So um, uh, I tried to wor- uh, work construction for two months. Um, then I got a part. I got a part time job at Under Armour. Bro, Under Armour fucking fired me like a week later too. They fucking <laughs> found out. They, they oh, found background out, check popped up. They, they found out that I got a felony. I'm like, what? I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna work then? Yeah, like, yeah. What, what the, the fuck? fuck do? Yeah. So I, I almost went to Pollo Loco again. Like, hey, what's up? Like, <laughs> you know, I'll flip chickens again and shit. <laughs> but what? yeah, so um, I applied to different banks and stuff. So I got hired at a credit union called Travis Credit Union. Mm-hmm. So it's a local credit union up north. And then uh, I was there for like maybe two, three years. And what within that period of time, I was cutting hair after work. Mm. So I'll get off work at six, go home. I'll cut hair from like seven to like midnight. And it became so like to the point where like I was making more money as a part time barber than then a full time banker. Yeah. Damn. So I was like, fuck this shit. So uh, I quit, became a full time barber. Um, I work out of my first barber shop and uh, it's called Woodland, Woodland up north, mm. small town. And then I went to Vacaville where I'm from. And then that's it. And then, and then this is how the YouTube came. Um, when I was cutting hair, uh, I was following these bunch of like famous barbers. Yeah. Uh-huh. So they'll cre- create content, take pictures, make like videos. Yeah. And this was a time where Instagram was like a fifteen second video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, thirty seconds or yeah. whatever. Yeah, way before like all the reels and all yeah. that bullshit. Wait, before all that. So. Damn, I really forgot the question I was about to ask. What a fucking shit podcast, man, <laughs> bro. Hey, you're just writing them down, bro. <laughs> bro, we have them, but I fucking left. No, 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 it, fucking thing. no. I want him to keep continuing. I just, it was a fucking, just like a question about, um, oh, were you doing like more house calls or were you working no, at the shop at this time, bro? I was never doing house calls to a move to SoCal, bro. Oh shit! Like I'm daring a fucking house call bar out here. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. I'm always on the fucking road. I have a 2022 Lexus, bro. I bought this shit like, um, at 2021. She got 90 miles. Bro, this shit has like almost sixty k miles. <laughs> Holy like, shit! Like for real, cause like I drive up north a yeah. lot, oh. and then I oh, took, you still commute? I commute because cause I have a dog now. Oh, okay. And I don't know when he was a puppy, I put him in a backpack. Let's He's go. cool, smash him out. Good, yeah. but now like man, he this food does not fit in that backpack. Yeah, anymore, you yeah. Know? So I just drive now, and honestly, just to have a car out there, yeah, uh, it's know, a lot better. Yeah, it's a lot better. And then I drove to Arizona a couple of times. Uh, I have a homies in San Diego, plus all the LA back and forth. Yeah, back and yeah, forth. yeah. Like literally, like today I went to downtown LA, and then my other client will hit me up tomorrow. Damn. And then another client, boom. Like, what can we? What can you just hit me up at the same? The same day, time, knock you know? it out one day. So yeah. sometimes I'm over there. I'll hit him up. Hey, bro, I'm out in the area. Like, you need, you need a haircut? No, uh, not tonight or whatever. And he hits me up tomorrow morning. Hey, bro, can you pull up today? Like, bro, I was, I was just, just here fucking there. yesterday. You know, Dude, that's fuck. But it is what it is. Like the money's better than working at the shop and stuff. Mm, so yeah. it's cool. But so yeah. Um, so back to the back home. Uh, it was like the 15 second video. So I work at a barber shop there in Vacaville. And uh, I was trying to do like content and stuff like that, but like it's like the people around me, uh, they're good barbers and stuff, but they were just like you know barbers. They just want to like in and out. In yeah, and out. it was a walk-in yeah. barber shop, no appointments, walk-ins only. Oh yeah. Okay, so it was it's like pretty much like a nine to five type of shit. You know. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't set up appointments, so like say like you're my client, like you pull up, like hey Chris, like how many people we got? Like oh I got two. It's gonna be like an hour wait. Like yeah. all right, cool. So you just wait, you know, wait for me. But at that time, I was trying to, like, make videos and stuff like that. But, like, the owner was, like, um, well, not even the owner, but, like, I just didn't feel the vibe. Like, I feel like I was being rushed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I ha- I couldn't create content, you know? Yeah. So I had to go somewhere where I can fit, you know? So there's this barber sh- shop in Stockton called Sharp and Dapper. And the owner's name is Ulises. His wife is Yvette XO. I don't know if you guys heard of her. I, she I sounds know. familiar. Yvette, yeah. yeah, she's a YouTuber. Like, she's been, like, heavy in the game uh-huh. like, a lot. Like, she's up there. And uh, so I went there um, for the reasons to, like, be around that. So you, you can know? grow. Yeah. So then, uh, so that was an hour away from Vacaville. Damn. So uh, for the... Bro, I even I didn't even move, bro. Six weeks, the first six weeks, bro. I literally like I had a truck at that time. Um, oh, shit. A fucking I'll, I'll pack a uh, a suitcase, bro, for the week. And stay out there, bro. Sometimes I'll sleep in my truck, 
or something uh, at a barber's house or sometimes at the owner's uh, spot. Yeah. Like, I, it came to a point sometimes, like, I'll stay in my truck, I'll go to the gym, shower there, and go. Just because I wanted to be at the shop, like, like as all much day. As, as, as much as you can. Because yeah. I'm new to the to the city. Like, bro, like, I was passing flyers, fucking um, business cards and everything. Damn, so you're getting it, though. You know? That's tight. And I was there fucking mon- uh, Tuesday through Sunday. I go Damn. back home. And I'll do that shit over again for six weeks. And then, uh, luckily, a barber from that shop, two barbers there, uh, were getting a house. So I ended up, like, Stay being roommates with them. So then, uh, so yeah, I was just with them. And fucking, and then this guy pulls up, bro, with a camera or whatever, you know? And it happened to be Benny. Oh, you know, shit. Benny? <laughs> what so the this fuck? guy. Smart ass yeah. Right? <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Like, at that time, I was setting up my camera and Wait, stuff he, like that. He was a barber? So, or? No, he was a videographer. Oh, okay. Like, he used to shoot weddings, fucking, like, oh, he was shit. working at that shop. He would make videos for that oh, barber shop. Oh, okay. He used to make videos for Evetic. So, like, whenever she would, like, go travel, have meet and greets, like, he was the behind the scenes. Like, he was literally oh, a videographer, shit. bro. And he got down. Like, he, he, I even have videos on my IG still up there. Like, yeah. So, like, uh, I went with this barbershop because the barbershop owner, he's famous. He's yeah. in the barber industry. Mm. So we'll go to hair shows, set up a booth. He had a home hair brand and all that. <sighs> so we'll go to all those events. We'll go to Vegas. We'll go to Connecticut. We'll go to Miami. Like, we're all over. And then we'll take Benny with us. And he was, like, shooting everything for yeah. us. So then that's how we became hella cool. Damn. That is yeah. fucking crazy. That's how we became hella cool because, like, we'd be around. And then everyone... And this was before, like, YouTube. So, I was just creating content for IG. Yeah. And then, um, Air- Benny was doing YouTube. Fuck, uh, Yvette XO was a YouTuber. Yeah. And I was like, man, like, Fuck. I, I want to do this shit, too. So, I bought my first camera. It was a Sony fucking uh, A7. The first one, the Mark I, one, whatever the fuck. I forgot what it's called. Yeah. I, actually, I still have it. Oh, shit. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I picked it up. Yvette XO actually uh, helped me. Uh, create the YouTube channel. She mm. made me the little banner or whatever. <laughs> that's that's tight. Fuck. Yeah, that's a yeah, tight so story. Yeah, so then boom. And then it started from there. Uh, I was vlogging like on our trips, our barber trips and yeah. stuff. And then that's it. It just came to there. And then just being around them, like, like, oh, who's this guy? Chris or whatever. I'm going to follow him or whatever. At one point, like, I, like they weren't tagging me and I was okay with it. Like, it's okay. Like, yeah. you guys don't have to tag me or whatever. But I always came up in a picture in the videos and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, so people would so people will find out and then eventually they'll start tagging me and stuff like that and then boom, Chris, Chris. And then at one point, my name was Christian the Barber. And then I changed it to, because I had a fucking underscore and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I want a name that doesn't it's have no underscore clean. Yeah, or it has clean. clean. And then luckily, I put Christian Blends because my name is not spelled the H. So I put Christian Blends. Boom, this is mine. So bro, like, hell like, yeah, you know? that's hard. And then... From now and then, like everybody knows me as Blands, Christian Blands, yeah. and like, and that's it. And then, so I started doing YouTube, and then I kind of used that as marketing for like my business, as my like for haircutting. Mm-hmm. Did it help? It helped a lot, because even like, um, uh, people were like travel from like Vacaville, Oakland, San Francisco, or like Damn. Sacramento. Well, that's tight though. Imagine your they wanted like, oh, yeah. like you know, like, and they'll come like. Like, oh, where you come from, or whatever where you from? Like, oh, sad, cool. And like, how'd you find me? Oh, I find you through uh Benny's channel. So, find me through Vex channel. Oh, I saw you from your channel. Damn. Cool. After the haircut, can I take a picture of you? Like when I, I saw what? it, like, what? For real? I'm like, all right, cool. And then it just went from there, bro. And then so we started blowing up. And when I left Stockton, I was at like 30k subscribers or some shit. Like yeah, that's 20, good. 30k subscribers. Fucking on my IG, I was at like 40k followers, 50k followers, and then um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like when being Benny, when Benny was single, bro, like bro, that shit was dope. Cause like our fans, our supporters were mainly from like LA, Arizona, Chicago, Houston. Oh. Like you know, on Instagram you yeah. can see like you know where they're from. Yeah, shit. So. We would just go to LA, bro, because, like, coming from up north, bro, like, you say LA, it's like hella big for us. Like, yeah. oh shit, we're gonna yeah. go to LA. And, bro, like, we end up in Norwalk. Or we end up in <laughs> Bro, bro. We- <laughs> bro. Norwalk at all places. <laughs> just, like I, I mentioned Norwalk just because, like, there was this hotel, bro. Like, at that time, like, we're like we're like coming up, bro. Like we were making not a lot of bread, yeah. but we're getting up there, bro. There was this hotel, bro. Like, like we're all pitching, right? 
this hotel like literally had like two rooms in one fucking room like oh, you had your own privacy you know mm, that's sick. so it was cool so like we'll vlog you know like and we'll go on live or which post like on my way to la so a bunch of girls will like just be hitting us up like oh when then we pull up to the hotel bro we get a bottle of hennessy we're just Damn, fucking taking oh, shots hey, on a hotel and bro we, bro <laughs> that's, 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 what, that's what was our shit bro hennessy no. was our shit at that time bro <laughs> oh, no. and then so yeah we just go live bro and then like what's good for tonight or whatever just in that like all right guys we're about to get off this live uh but yeah let us know what's good for tonight or whatever and a bunch of girls would shoot us messages and this or like that you know so you're just go, everywhere bro it go from there that's smart though. That's, that's, that's crazy that we can say. Yeah. So we'll come to LA, bro, a lot just for the weekends and just to vlog for mm. content and stuff like that. And then eventually, like everybody started moving out here. Like Yvette XO, her husband, like shop owner, ended up moving down to LA first. Um, I think Benny moved after, and then also oh, Benny was here first before you. Before me, and then six months later, I was still going to these hair shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I met this girl in Hollywood uh, at a hair show in Hollywood. Uh, she's a hairstylist. And at that time, bro, I was single, bro. I wasn't even looking for shit. Yeah. Like, you know, I was like just picking this girl, like, let's go home or whatever type of shit, you know? Like, <laughs> and then I tried to do this with this girl, but she wasn't <laughs> about it. I was like, oh, <laughs> like, okay, like. I fuck with it, you know? Like, yeah. I kind of like a girl who's not easy. Like, yeah, you know? it's like, cool. Yeah, you got A little challenge, you know? But not even that, but she was a fucking vibe. So, yeah. like, you know? So, I was like, fuck. So, then I told my homies, we're leaving LA. This is t- We're living in Stockton still. Okay. And, like, bro, like, I met this girl in LA or whatever. Like, and then there's another hair show. I would tag along every time there's a hair show just to fucking come down here, bro. bro fucking bro was never yeah. home. Like, yeah. I was, bro, we were never home, bro. That's, we're, we're that, that's how ever. you got to do that, yeah, though. We're expand. traveling everywhere, bro. Plus, like, being a barber or, like, man, being a photographer, it gives us the freedom. Like, we make our own schedules, yeah. bro. Yeah. It came to a point, bro, like, I was only working at the shop Wednesday, and then Saturday, I'll get off early, like, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, boom, flight, let's go to L.A., or we drive to L.A., and then we'll be there till, like, Tuesday, and then drive up. We would go to the work Wednesday, Saturday, nah. and do it all over again, do it all over again. But so yeah. we did a lot for contents. Okay, but when you were in LA, you weren't ever doing like house calls or cutting people's up? or No, you? at that time, no. It was just like, pure content? It just straight That's YouTube fucking shit, sick. you know? That's sick and I'll go to hair shows. Like, I'll, I'll pull up for hair shows uh-huh. just because, like, at that time, I was cutting up on stage or like. Well, um, that's a good exposure, like, though, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cool. So, like, or like sometimes I'll teach a class, stuff like that. And then, yeah. I forgot where I was like <laughs> going with this for. Oh, uh, yeah. it was Benny had moved to LA. LA. Oh, yeah. Six months and then after. six months after. So, yeah. So, then, uh, long story short, I got there with this girl. And then uh, COVID happened. Oh, shit. Right? Damn. So, we're we're together already for six months, like long distance. Yeah. So, I'll go come here, go there, or she'll go over there, vice versa. Yeah. And then, but I'll mostly come over here just because, like, there's nothing to do with yeah, it. Yeah, it's bro. better over it's here. Fucking it's fucking boring over shit. there, you know? So, like, she'll tell me, like, I'll go over there like nah it's cool I'll pull up I'll pull up you know <laughs> so then um I remember bro COVID that day uh, COVID happened when they announced the, the fucking the lockdown? The cur- lockdown yeah I was cutting hair bro in Stockton and they're, they're announcing lockdown like what the fuck what the fuck's going on you know like I didn't know like, yeah. what was going on at that time with lockdown no, I don't think anybody knew nobody really gave a fuck at that time so, everybody thought that it would just pass yeah, pass yeah, over yeah. so I called my ex at the time like hey like I had my own apartment in Stockton like like I'm not going to fucking quarantine by myself. Yeah, fuck, fuck this that. shit. And she's like, come through over here. Like, fuck it. And then my last client, fuck it. I, I got to fucking go. Smashed in my house. Picked up as much shit I can. <laughs> bro. <laughs> fucking suitcase. <laughs> Took off, bro. I had a, I had a Silverado, bro, at that time. A four-door. Oh, like, fucking my Malona, bro. No. <laughs> like, straight up, bro. Like, bro. Like, my back. We'll take a little pause. I had to take a pee. Got a blanket because I'm freezing in this goddamn shack. But um, <laughs> back to where we were, back to where we were at. You were coming back down. Straight in the Malona cup, bro. I was probably <laughs> slapping some corridos or something, you know? <laughs> straight up, bro. So, so <laughs> I was literally smashing, bro. Like, bro. I was trying to go hella fast. My truck wouldn't go faster than 100, bro. Like, it was stop. Like, zzz, zzz, zzz. And I fucking see a bunch of cars passing me. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh, shit, bro. So then uh, I'm on my way, right? This was before I even moved, bro. <laughs> I know that car had like 900,000 miles on that bitch. 
<laughs> bro, um, it's crazy because I just recently sold that last year. I oh, so you had it the whole time? Yeah, Fuck bro. it if you don't fucking, if it's not broken. And yeah, so it's crazy because I needed moving down here, bro. And then I sold it at the wrong time because I needed a truck to move. Oh, so, shit. So you didn't have shit to even bring your stuff up. Nah. <laughs> so yeah, I was on my way. You're like, babe, I'm on my way, you know? Fucking quarantine. And I was calling like, hey, like, my ETA says 1 a.m. Oh, because they said if you're... 12. Yeah. Like, what are they fucking pull me over? Like, fuck. Like, I'm already fucking scared of being in jail already. Yeah. Bro. Like, I'm fucking, <laughs> oh, you know? Oh, like that, like, man. Like, like, I cannot go fucking back in jail, jail bro. for COVID? Yeah, feel me? <laughs> Who goes to jail for being fuck. outside? And at that time, bro, there was, like, fucking tanks and shit. Huh, man? Like, <laughs> like, bro... If, Bro, we weren't at war. Bro said there was t- actually there was like, tanks. Bro, like, there he gets was a, a DUC. He gets a DUC. Like, driving like, under COVID. Bro blows him up with a tank <laughs> just because he's driving. Hey, bro, my on. truck's right. It looks like a tank, bro. <laughs> they shoot that shit. Your truck is perfectly fine. Still doing eighty. That shit drove like a tank. Drove. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't have a truck, so he got a tank to move. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my fault, my fault, my fault. Oh, <laughs> so uh luckily bro, I was like fuck. I got to LA bro, it was like twelve o'clock and I still had to drive all the Pomona. <laughs> so you were still fucked. <laughs> like fuck can I get there already? Like fuck, are we there yet? <laughs> so yeah, I fucking pulled up. Uh six weeks later, I was there six <laughs> weeks, bro. At her parents' house, bro. Her, her parents', parents house. house. <laughs> Yo, this story just keeps getting more <laughs> fun. <laughs> her parents are tr- a tank. <laughs> he just goes to the front door. Damn, I'm here. Pull this gets out the tank with one double back. <laughs> her parents are all scary. I was there real tank. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, now nah, I'm not I'm not going no more Alright, who? <laughs> I'm sweating, dog so uh, the story oh, no crying, I don't know if I'm lightheaded Because you're making me laugh Or this fucking puff has something in it Because I'm fucking bloating right now Oh my god, I'm crying, bro This is kind of funny, bro uh, But luckily, like, she had a back house, bro So I was staying in the back house they were cool as fuck, bro. Like, even for, like, letting me stay there, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. tight. For, like, six weeks. And then, <coughs> um, within the next period of six weeks, I was trying to find, like, a place to stay. Because, like, fuck it, my, my lease is already over this month. Yeah, it's my So, it all makes fucking perfect sense. It's meant to be. So, um, I ended up finding a, a studio. And that's where I just moved out of. So, I lived there for, like, maybe three months. And then me and my ex got an apartment together. Oh shit! So it was work here, living there. Yeah, and then I ended up we ended up breaking up. So then I had to move there. Wait, wait. So this time that you live with her in Pomona, where yeah. were you cutting at? Uh, in that studio. Oh yeah, you told me. You told me. Yeah, so you were I, still where cutting. I just moved out. Ah, okay, and okay. I still have my chair there, bro. Oh shit! It's still there right now. I haven't <laughs> moved it. Hey. Bro, still hasn't gotten a truck. It's been but, five years. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm gonna do with that studio. Like I'm keeping that shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Might as well fuck it at that know? point. So, Wait, so are you still paying rent there? Yeah, I'm still paying rent Damn. there. It's month to month. It's not a lease. So I have plans to open up because it was already a two like like people studio. Like mm-hmm. she was a hairstylist. I was a barber. Mm-hmm. I still have a shampoo bowl there. Like I have fucking lights. Oh, so everything. it's set up. It's set up. Might as well. So my plan is to fuck it. Like, bro, I'm, I'm over here trying to like not work. Like, not that I'm lazy, but I'm trying to work smarter. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I'm trying to just fucking get money from here, from here, from here. I'm already opening a barber shop. Uh. So this studio, I pay sixteen hundred, bro, a month. It's Damn. super cheap. It's month to month, and it's where P- Pomona, Pomona, okay. downtown. So my goal is to, well, my plan is to. I still have a chair there, so I'm gonna buy like five more chairs. Fucking rent those chairs for like fucking a thousand a month. A thousand a month. That's not bad. So like, or maybe even I'll plug people in. Like fuck it, like eight hundred. Yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You two, would never do commission you know, on a cut. Nah, like two chairs, and I let them give them a key. Do, whenever. Whenever. Do do people usually do commission on a cut? No. So I know some barber owners do like commission, but I've always been booth rent. What what do you make more? Um uh, well commission, say, obviously if you're an owner. Yeah. Commission if you're an owner Because imagine you sure. sh- you're yeah. have a crazy ass week and you have yeah. seventy cuts, he gets fucking ten percent of every yeah. cut compared so, to five hundred bucks. Shop owner for sure commission if you know you're a renter and they booth better for the booth. You know? So I plan to just like so I got three plans. Either like I have my barber shop. Should I turn this into a barber, like, private studio again? Like, how it was? Yeah. Or should I just fucking make it a salon? Just buy a bunch of salon chairs 
and make it just a woman's salon. So you know how to do that salon. too? Yeah. I don't I know how, I know how to do women's hair. How the fuck you learn that? Oh, well, my ex taught me. Ah, She's okay. a hairstylist, so she taught me how to do color throughout whole COVID. We were fucking doing like, bro. There's nothing to fucking do. Yeah. So, you, so she was teaching me how to do color. I was coloring my hair every fucking month. I seen that one you did yeah. where you drew. Yeah, I be drawing all hair? that shit. That shit's oh, hard. Shit's, it yeah, was hard. I, I saw that. That shit's sick thanks, as fuck, bro. Thanks, bro. And she taught me how to cut like woman's hair. So we we're doing a mannequin, bro. Late night. Uh, she taught me how to do woman's color. So I didn't do it. I don't promote it. But if someone really needs it, like you can fuck, it, I yeah. do it. But it has to be for the right, the right amount price. of money. Yeah, like, price. And also, girl, like you didn't be fucking. Sit in that chair for like eight, ten, eight, ten hours, at least ten hours. Damn, it's just like it's a lot of hair, bro. And yeah. I'm not used to it. I don't do this shit every fucking day. So and I, like, I, know how to, and I know the technique and everything. Like you can, you might be in a chair for ten hours, but your hair is gonna be fire. Yeah, you know. So I, I've done a few, but it's just like, nah. It's They're not, gonna come it's out with like me. a taper, looking like pink. Yeah, you know. Like, how much would you normally charge? Like, let's say a girl came in and she wanted to do like a color change and a cut. Um, now because I don't really want to do it. Uh, starting <laughs> starting at five hundred bucks. <laughs> Damn, you know. But that's like normal for girl, yeah, no? Isn't you know? like girl hair expensive? Yeah, I think they pay like five hundred up. You know, yeah, so seven hundred. But for me, for someone who doesn't do it much, I use five hundred. Yeah, you know? that's it. There's a lot of hair, but um. So yeah, my plan is to do either uh, a barbershop's private studio or a salon, just all women's. Since I already have a, a man's barbershop, yeah, I want to have a woman's studio. And you have both. So it'll be twenty four seven like barbershop, twenty four seven like beauty salon or whatever and then or uh i have a lot of uh friends who are tattoo artists and they're probably like oh you could do a private tattoo yeah, shop a studio out which there. is cool because like um we might uh no i don't know if you follow me at one point uh i actually tattooed myself so what the uh, fuck don't you here, do uh i did a whole rose i'll show you guys like i have it on ig i even have a uh, ig page called tattoo blends what? what so yeah so i did a few tattoos um but how, then, wait how, how'd you learn that yeah how the fuck do you bro, get it it just fucking i think i'm just an artist like overall uh-huh. when i was like in fucking middle school high school like i would draw like even if i go back to my mom's house i have drawings there like my thing was like black and gray like i could grab a pen right now i fucking draw some shit like shade and everything so now i feel like that's how i became so good at blending hair yeah because you can see the coloration difference yeah, contrast bro blending like it's the same shit with tattooing damn bro. i would have never thought yeah. you that's so, smart though that's that actually tattoo. makes sense that, the no way that, that you does put make it, a lot yeah. of fucking sense yeah, that makes like, perfect bro, sense like i couldn't like i don't know if you guys know this guy named rob the original yeah okay so i look up to him he's like my idol like i fucking like i fuck with his work and everything yeah. the shit he does i feel like i could do it yeah like literally, I could fucking do that shit. Like I just haven't attempted, mm-hmm. but I feel like I'm going to. So that's why I'm kind of wanna. Um, I still have my tattoo gun and everything. So that studio, I can do a bunch of shit. I even want want to do like maybe like do like like peer space, like do a whole fucking like yeah. content, like yeah, you know, that for would be really fucking, smart. Uh, like people who have their own clothing line, merch line, yeah. Cause like so, I have my own clothing line as well, so. Usually I have to fucking rent studios and stuff to do like the to photo do, shoots and know, shit photo like that, shoots, you know, or someone who fucking do OnlyFans. Let me put a fucking put a like a, a couch. bed in there, yeah, a couch, it. you know, a casting couch or some shit, you know, <laughs> something. I could, do, smart, I, could, I could I could do a bunch of shit in that yeah. studio, bro. For fucking sixteen hundred, bro. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, fuck I'm gonna keep that shit. Shit you know? gonna pay for itself. So, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I just moved out of there, and so now technically I have fucking three rents to fucking worry about. Yeah, I Jesus. My, my loft, my studio in downtown Pomona. Mm-hmm. I got my barber shop in La Habra, and then the the new apartment Dude. I just moved in OC. Yeah, okay. Which that's the most expensive rent. Yeah, the fucking yeah. one where you're at. So what what do you think gave you that worth that work ethic like from the jump? Like why were you always so hungry to learn or do new shit? I don't know, bro. Um, just growing up, bro. Like I don't really have much. Mm-hmm. Like so, um, like I I grew up like my parents like try to give me as much things as I want, but could, not yeah. a lot. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel even like. to this day, like, even my dad, like, I was here, like, he doesn't have money, like, extra money. He just... He had enough to get by. by checks. Yeah. You know, just pays this, pay this, and that's it. Um, I talked to my mom. I'm close to my mom than my, than, than my dad. So I talk, my mom tells me everything. I'm like, what's up? Like, what, I'll call her more than she calls me. Cause yeah. like, bro, I don't know. Sometimes I'll be missing her. Like, yeah, you want to check All my family's over there. Yeah. I'm, I'm here by myself. Yeah. So, I swear, that's rough. So then I call her and whatever. And like, oh, okay, okay I want to set us to someone. What are you guys going to do this weekend? Oh, nothing. You know, like, like you guys got to go out. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like, whatever. It's you know? hard to. Well, sometimes you. I shoot them some money, you know. Yeah. I sell them and shit like that, you know. That's dope, bro. But, um, yeah. So I would say from, from the newspaper job, like, 
it made me like hustle a lot, bro. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was a 15 year old and when I got my first fucking like check, like we get paid cash every fucking Friday. Oh shit. And I was making maybe like 200, 300 bucks like a week. Yeah, but at 15, yeah. fuck. Yeah, at 15, that's better bro. than me now. Bro. <laughs> fuck. It came to like, I was having like, maybe my parents would buy me like one pair of shoes, like two fits, like just for like the first day of school. Yeah, let's go back to school. To where I came from, like fucking shoes, fucking like, bro, I was fresh, bro. Like, <laughs> that's hard, bro. That's and hard. at that time, it was like the swag shit was yeah, going on, two bro. Snap bags, snap bags and shit. fucking, you know, like foxtail, you know, all that shit, bro. <laughs> You're a furry, bro. Fucking chugs and whatever, you know, <laughs> fucking tailor made, whatever. That's hard, bro. Damn. So, um, so yeah, I, I was pulling up, bro. Like, yeah. fresh, bro. And then, uh, and then at sixteen, got my, I paid, I paid to get my permit. And I paid for my first car. My first car was a Chevy Cavalier. It cost me like eleven hundred bucks, but I paid it out of those fucking newspapers. Yeah. And, and then um and I kept working, working, and then uh my dad like we went to, I was like, Dad, I want a fucking car. We went to the dealership and I got me a truck, a ram. Uh Damn. like bro, like this shit had like fucking twenty fours in <laughs> like bro, if you go to my Facebook, like I don't I haven't lock, I haven't posted anything in Facebook since I was like in high school. Yeah. yeah. But if I, if I show you guys right now, I was you see me a picture in high school with the fucking ram, like I think it was a two thousand nine with fucking twenty four inch fly ass chrome clothes. rims. Yeah. Chrome rims, bro. Damn. So you're and then well, me and my homies clutch. were like pus- at that time we were making money putting slap. So like my shit had like two twelves and then one point two fifteen. <laughs> but up. we were hella into like fucking like the sound system. Yeah. Bro, like everyone will pull up to my mom's garage. We're here setting up, bro, and like everything. Damn, yeah. bro, you had your like hand dabbled in like a bunch of different shit. Yeah, so like I'm like I'd be fucking trying to do this and this, and that's that's I feel like that's kind of like a problem in a way because like sometimes I feel like uh, I do a lot too much to focus too on much. one thing. And sometimes it's like I'm a fucking dog just trying to catch my tail, you know. Yeah. When I could just fucking focus on one thing and one be the thing, best and one thing. So that's why I feel like I stopped doing tattoos because like I was trying to do hair and then do YouTube and tattoo and it was just taking up so much time. And then, for example, my barbershop. I could have waited till I opened my barbershop. Okay, wait another month or two to settle down. And then I can move. Yeah. But like, nah, fuck this. Do it all at like, once. I'm gonna just move and then I'm gonna fucking open a barbershop and open up this fucking studio as well. Yeah. But the studio, I've not told anybody. I've not told anybody. Yeah, I want to just fucking surprise everybody. Boom! I got a studio by the way. Open. Yeah, not hiring. Who wants to work here? You know. Damn, you that's know? fucking smart, bro. Especially with your following too. It's easy to yeah. find people that want to so, work. So, um, throughout the whole process, I was posting like the updates on my barbershop. Barbers hitting me up like, "Hey, are you hiring? Hiring?" But I was like, "Yeah, I will be eventually soon." Once I get but it open, yeah. I want to do everything right, so I just posted today like I'm hiring now. Cause now I uh, I uh, created like a like an email for the business. You send your uh, application. Everything is on there. Uh, I also created a co- uh, contract. I have a contract for barbers. So once they email me, they're interested. Okay, cool. I'm gonna send this contract. It's a lease agreement, six months, one year. It'll tell you there. First month nine hundred. Second month a thousand. Third month eleven hundred. For eleven hundred every month after that okay but i'll tell you all the rules that like on like the wardrobe um fucking what what, what i expect you yeah know? like what you want yeah what i want you know and if you fit in and all that shit then sign and let's fucking go because i feel like i don't want to hire no like just any barber yeah bro. like some regular dude that don't even match the vibe barber like yeah. people are like you know because in that barbershop i might i'm even have liquor in that barbershop like you oh, want it, you want it to be well fun. not hard liquor but i'm gonna have beer on tap yeah yeah, yeah. so i have a keg keg what the fuck? so i got four beers okay i got four like tabs yeah so it's gonna be three beers one local beer from back home because i just support like local brands and shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so one from back home and then two from out here, we're going to, uh, actually, me and two homies are going to go this weekend and go to the brewery and just taste shit, you know? And see so we're probably going to get fucked up. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we're trying to taste some shit. Like, okay, so this is, like, we're going to want, like, uh, like fucking uh, kegs, like, every fucking, whenever it fucking yeah. runs over, you know? Damn. It's going to be three beers, and then the last tab is going to be cold brew coffee, because I love coffee. Ooh. So it's going to be cold brew on tap. That's you sick. Know? And Where, where'd you uh, think of this? Yeah, what fucking, how did you even? Okay, so this whole thing, my first barbershop. It's called Main Event Barbers in Woodland. They also had one in Vacaville, and then they changed the name to, because there's a new owner called T- Town Square Barbers. Uh, I'm still cool with them to this day, bro. They yeah. see my shit, and they're hella, like, happy for me. Um, so they offer, like, free complimentary beer. 
So it was on tap. So that's say you walk in, oh, what's up? You want a beer? Like, you want a beer or whatever? Especially cool. while you wait, that's cool. When you wait, while you're sitting in a chair, it's two complimentary beers. One while you wait or one while cutting hair. Put the coaster on top, so that way the hair, the hair doesn't don't get go in. inside. So are you going to do the same thing? They're going to be complimentary? Shit, so it's crazy because like, um, I just I bought it, but I'm picking it up this weekend. And I was literally going to do a pose, you know, like, you know, shout out to them, you know, yeah. like keeping like the, um, what do you call them? Like, Tradition, tradition, yeah. yeah. Keeping That's the tradition fly. Going on, you That's know, this my first barbershop. They did this, so I'm keeping the tradition. So, uh, I have beer on top. I have a liquor fridge, so I probably have like cans or whatever. But I don't have my beer license or anything. But I don't have to because I'm giving it out for free. So <laughs> oh, you know, shit. so as long as I'm giving it for free, I can't get in trouble. You know, so I got nine chairs, and then I build two rooms in in that fucking bitch. Fucking, <laughs> I got one is for my merch room. It's for my merch. So you can go in there and shop for my merch. And in the other room is going to be for an esthetician. So someone who does facials or someone who does lashes or whatever. Damn. So now I'm going to have men and women inside and like, hey, like, it's going to be packed. Would you like I'm some champagne? We like, would you like some wine? We like some mimosas, like for the ladies, what? you know? Like, fuck it. Like, hey, I'm writing all this shit down right here. Yeah, for bro, open barbershop. I, I want to, like, I've always been that person to, like, want to stand out. Yeah. Like, I've even, never seen that shit in my like, life. I'm trying to stand out. I want to fucking go viral. Like, yeah. you guys got to pull up to my grand opening, I'm bro. I'm down. Like, bro, like, I can show you guys, up. like, all the people who are going to be hosting and shit like that. Even if you guys want to pull up, want to just be host, I'll make you guys a flyer. Like, it's cool. Yeah, well, I'm like, down. Uh, when is it? Uh, April 8th. April 8th. From 3 to 8. Like, oh, a, shit, lot of people, next month. a lot of people, there's a flyer you guys probably know on there, too. Dude, be hosting that that's shit. I'm down. That shit you sounds know, lit. It's literally gonna, like ten it's literally minutes gonna, gonna turn into a fucking meet and greet. Yeah. So now I got barbers. I even got some barber hitters, like some barber influencers. Yeah. That host, but also got the YouTube side. The as influencer well. people that are gonna pull up. So the inside is gonna be a showcase. Barbers is a round one, round two. I already got the lineup. Ooh. They be cutting hair in there, and in the in the back it's a parking lot. I'm gonna have vendors. So like people who have the brands, like for example, you have your brand. Oh if you shit. Want, there's, table set up your brand you can sell your clothing merch or whatever you want just five thousand an hour you know? i make and 300 bucks it. and then i'm gonna have a dj there's gonna be food tacos you know so how long ago did you get this um spot in La oh bro okay i got this shit in october oh shit it could have been done quicker bro but uh, a lot of it um uh, i put my hands on it like it's me and then a homie i saw the video of you demolishing yeah, that bitch when so, you first got uh, it i have a business partner uh he's from stockton he's a homie Okay. Um, he does flooring. He has his own like flooring business. Oh shit! So he's the one that actually did the flooring on my floor. He got yeah. fucking down. I saw the video you, you just know? posted. So that's um, what epoxy, no? Epoxy. Yeah. yeah so, uh, but he lives over there. But for the most part, I have a homie out here. His name is Marin. He owns a like a pizza shop. Mm -hmm. Um, me and him were working on the shop, uh, on things that we can do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Bro, we build like a whole fucking uh, in the for the break room for the bar. We build a fucking like uh. Uh, TV with a fucking fireplace. Yeah, out Damn. of scratch. Like, we went to Home Depot, bro. So many Home Depot runs, two by four. Yeah, and learning how to do We this bought shit. drills. We bought saws. We bought fucking nail guns. Bro, bro yeah. like, fuck it. We're gonna, like, if somebody can do it, we can fucking do yeah, it. Yeah, especially. And it, honestly, bro, it saves us some time. And honestly, like, um, it saves us some time, but also, like, money. I could go back, like, money. But. But at the like, end of the day, bro, you did, did it. Shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, damn, and this then, is actually um, me. Okay, like, we even remodeled the restroom, bro. Like, I, we fucking put flooring on the restroom. <laughs> I took out that toilet. Fuck, I almost broke my back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> toilet, bro. Like, I fucking took it out, bro. There was still water in there. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Turned oh, into a bidet. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is that shit, bro? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's all tasting his lip after. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck. And we took out the sink. We remodeled the whole bathroom, bro. Like, we we became plumbers, bro. We became fucking. <laughs> Dude, this um, guy's can't be Thank God, because I got a fucking clock drain upstairs. Yeah, bro. Like, like molded, turn out the fucking water and everything, bro. And then. Boom, my fault. We're back because the batteries died again. Logan's fuck up. But whatever. As you were saying, um. You were talking about the taps at the beer, I mean, at the barbershop yeah, and all that yeah. shit. You were going to remodel everything. So, obviously, I asked you a question when the camera was off. I want to bring it back up. Um, so, like, how did you guys get the funds to do the operation and shit like that? Investors or whatever? Bro, like, okay. So, I mean, my business partner, he's pretty much like an investor, you know? Yeah. So, um, he has his own business already, like, doing epoxy flooring. He's doing really well. So, I'm sure he got, like, the bread and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. like that, you know? And then me, to be honest, bro, like... I just took it out of my savings, bro, to be honest. Like, everything's saving. I didn't took out no loan or anything. That's good, though. Were you scared taking that jump? Bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've ne I have never, like, really spent that much money in a, like, fucking period of time. Like, if oh, you don't mind me here, asking, here. how much was it? 
so far I probably spent like maybe like 40k 50k Damn. that's actually not too bad yeah. though that's not yeah. too bad because a barbershop's expensive yeah, bro it's a like lot 100k of it like I save money by doing it you know yeah yourself myself Damn. you know but um I could have got a loan um I had my business license for like maybe two years ever since I moved here to Pomona mm-hmm. but I had a business license as, as a sole proprietor mm-hmm. but I just learned like the LSC thing like fuck like if I would have known you could have fucking done everything and you know, saved so much money saved yeah. so much money I could have got a fucking business credit card how'd you loan. how'd you end up finding about like just through people bro LLC. networking like uh, this is why I like barbering cause I meet a lot of people like, just talking owner, huh just talk, every, every person in my chair does something differently you know yeah. whether you're a realtor you're a construction worker you're a fucking doctor yeah you're a trapper or whatever you know damn I meet so many fucking people and so that's how I learned, like literally barely like last year. Mm. Um, so I ended up when I signed that thing, I, and I opened my LSC. Mm-hmm. So it's twenty four seven LSC now. So I gotta wait like six months. I think it's almost six months now, and then I can apply for business credit now, stuff like that. So I might even pay myself back or like yeah. my goal honestly, not even pay myself back. If I can just use that for like another business. Like yeah. my 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 next business, like I always obviously I already talked about the studio. So I'm gonna do that for sure. Yeah. So I'm gonna have like two like two hair like businesses. But I've always wanted to do a coffee shop. You really you know? love coffee, huh? Yeah, I do. I drink coffee every fucking day, bro. Wow. What, what's I could on? drink coffee right now, bro. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah. Do you stay up though? Bro, I smoke weed and, and like fucking <laughs> every time like, <laughs> we'll get anxiety. If, 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 if you guys see me post coffee, bro, like, oh yeah, this guy's high. <laughs> 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 Cause bro, I like to balance it, bro. I like to be high, but then like but up still at the be same up. time. Yeah. You know? Why don't you but, just try meth? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> no. I heard okay, heroin's okay, a little okay, bit better. Weed, okay, we weed. I'm good with weed. Wait, where are we going with this? <laughs> are you about to do math? <laughs> that you bought the tank? <laughs> no. Okay, bro. Back to the tank. No, um, yeah, so anyways, yeah, the investor just started the shop. Yeah. So um, now that you got the shop and you're already moving forward and oh, the yeah, opening no, day. I, I said I want to, if I get like a business loans or whatever, it's going to be for a coffee shop mm. for sure. And I already got the name for the coffee shop. I already got the names for the fucking coffees. <laughs> like, I already got a fucking plan for it. Like, Wait, well, with the coffee shop, would it have, like, kind of, like, haircut based? You can get a blowjob, yeah, a haircut. It will. Okay. Fuck it, like. You want to tell you guys? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes like, people are like, oh, don't tell your ideas, whatever. But We just said that. Yeah, so. we were literally we just talking just said about that. that. So, if, if, should I or not? Nah, 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 don't, yeah, don't, don't say it. Don't I'm surprised, y'all. Yeah. See? Like, oh, shit. Because, bro, trust, bro. That shit's going to be fire, bro. You get a coffee haircut tattooed, a fucking your eyebrows done, and then a blowjob at the end. Fuck, that'd be hard, bro. Oh, but shit, shit, huh? but. <laughs> he's like, wait, hon, you're kind of on with like, that last it, one. Listening too bad. I know, I'm like, fuck that. It's the decision room, bro. That shouldn't be a happy ending room now. <laughs> but <laughs> the barbers all got to drink their clients. <laughs> 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 But, uh, hey, depending on your tip, you get a guy or a girl. For real, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I go in there with eight bucks. What can I get? Oh Fuck. my god! Hey, what can I get for eight dollars? <laughs> Him? Uh, Uber back home? What? Hey, it's himself. He's like, what's <laughs> up? All right, all right, all right. Hold on. So we we're talking about investors. investors and yeah. Stuff. So yeah. Um. So yeah. So now uh, I'm working on like the whole like LAC part, like the whole business side and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, yeah, at this point, I just use my whole fucking money that I have on my savings account, you know? It's not bad, though. At least you're not, like, in yeah. debt to anybody and it's your yeah. shit. I'm not in debt with nobody. And then also, like, I'm like, okay, like, obviously I'm still working, so I'm getting bread. But then, like, I make this amount of money. It's like, oh, shit, I got to pay this. I got to pay this. Yeah, that, I feel you. You know? So, like, my account being going like this, like, mm-hmm. fucking wave, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's how it is, bro. But it's okay, bro, because, like, honestly, like, instead of, like, I'm not wasting this money on some bullshit, you You're know? You're investing like, into you know, your future. I'm investing into your future. I'm thinking, like, long term. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah sure. All that money's going to be, like, back. It's going to come back. You know, and then more. I'm opening it up, like, next month, and, you know, um, hopefully, uh, God willing, like, my shares get filled up. Everything's no, that shit's gonna boom for sure. It's know, a great idea. By summertime, like, bro, this summer's gonna be fucking lit. You're gonna like, make all your money back. And yeah, get my money back. Fucking, I'm out, bro. Cause yeah. remember we were talking about I'm always traveling every, yeah. everywhere. I haven't done that since the fucking time I leave. Just cause, like, nah, I'm gonna waste no money. It's all gonna go here. It's mm-hmm. all right here. Mm-hmm. It's all here. So I can't wait to fucking travel again. Where do you want? Do you know, like, where you want to go next? Uh, I'll probably go to Europe. Oh, that's right. cool. That's fly. You know, hair, like, do haircuts out there? Yeah, I take my clippers everywhere. Um, the furthest I've flown was Thailand. What the for, fuck? For a haircut? 
Not for a haircut, oh. but I took my clippers over there. Yeah. I got hair there, yeah. Well, how, how do you find clients out there? No, nah, well, uh, at that time, uh, I was with my ex, so uh-huh. her brother went, so I cut her, her brother, okay. and I do a video. Like, everywhere I go, like, me and Benny, we used to go to Cancun all the time, we'll fucking... I cut his hair at the a fucking pier, or whatever. Yeah, I remember we got kicked out one time because we were doing that shit. He was, he was flying the drone, and, and you were cutting his hair. I was cutting him up. That's sick. And we set up one camera here, one camera here. He was flying the drone. And shit. In Cancun. And in Cancun. Yeah, y'all got balls. Hell we're no. In the pier, or whatever, and then someone like snitch on us, whatever. Oh, hair is going like all over. You know? All over, yeah. Stupid shit. Have you so. ever thought about doing like a like a kind of content uh, barbershop, like a Vic Blends type shit? Yeah. Um, oh, he already has that. Not a barbershop, but he like you know he does his. Oh yeah, too. but but I'm saying like maybe for like people that are trying to do what you do, so kind of like social media along with like barbershops. Like but, a younger you came in, yeah, and was like, "Yo, I want to do content." Like, but at the same time, I want to cut hair. I want like a space where like everyone's comfortable with having the camera on them. Kind of like how what Bradley Martin does with um. You know who does that? Um, uh, that guy Jeff. Uh, Jeff Wittick. Yeah, from David Dobrik. Bezos. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he does that. <laughs> oh, he has like his own barbershop mm-hmm. where it's like that. Yeah. What? It's I just barbershop, that. and he does. Okay, so like. I didn't like know he that. has like some random shit happening. So oh like, no, no. Say, like no, I know that that's like a show, right? You're talking about the show Jeff's Barbershop. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. I'm talking about like if you opened up like an actual barbershop, uh-huh. but then like everybody in there is a content, content creator oh, slash oh, barber. That'd be dope. That'd be fire. But th- that's why like everybody kind of has like their own personality. Yeah. But at the same time, everybody has their own channel, that'd and the, everyone's just cutting hair. And, and imagine how much that shop would fucking bring in then. Yeah. yeah. Nine. Tw- fucking 10 yeah, that'd be fire because there's a there's a few barbers who are like are hella into content mm-hmm. and there's some barbers who just want to cut just hair you know yeah, yeah. just going in and out but there's some barbers who are like actually like there's this kid like who cuts at because i cut in my friend's studio right now in pomona yeah and there's like two other guys one he does color i taught him how to do color now like all the art yeah. shit he's fucking took off he's doing a bunch of shit and then this this other kid he's 17 years old damn Bro, like awesome. this fool, like on the he's there every fucking day, and now he's starting to cut like artists and shit like that. Like, oh, you just Alex, reminded me, Alex cuts. I don't know if you know. Nah, no, nah. So what I wanted to ask you since you just brought that up, um, how did you get into like the? Well, obviously we just stalked your Instagram before you got here, and I seen that yeah. you cut up fucking French Montana, the fool from the Lakers. Like, how did you get into that type so of? So like- it started from um networking, bro. So at that time, uh, when I was with that guy Olysses, mm-hmm. we'll go to barber shows like fucking. Washington, Connecticut, Denver, New York, fucking Miami. Yeah. So at that time, I remember when I mentioned I was following a bunch of famous barbers. Yeah. Well, I actually got to meet them. You know, I shake hands, boom, first time, whatever. Like, who the fuck is this guy? You know, shake my hands, whatever. But second, but then, third time. You know, and then I pull up again. Oh, what's, what's up, up, bro? Yeah. What's up? What's up, bro? Like, oh shit. Like, and then what's up? What's up again? Like, you know, pull up. I'll be on on the fucking stage, fucking comp- competing. Boom, third place, first place, this and that. You know, like oh shit, this is cool. You know. And then I started getting my followers up, and then like um, I was making content, right? So I post pictures, videos, and I would tag all the barbers, like the famous barbers, brands, and stuff. So the people would see it, see it, com- comment or whatever, share shit like that. And at one point, they weren't following me, but they were looking at it. Yeah. And then eventually, they started following me, and now I would say like pretty much like all the people like I followed, like they were big. Yeah. I would say probably like. 80% of them follow me back now. Oh, Damn. shit. And for the most part, and I'd be like, I don't know, like, I feel like some, I've surpassed some, some now. Yeah, hell yeah, for know? sure. For sure. So, um, so yeah, it just came, because, like, everybody, everyone has their barber. Like, for example, French Montana has his own barber. So, actually, like, um, since I have the following, I have a lot of support in L.A. So, there's a reason why... I, like I moved to like not just because of my ex, yeah. but also for like business. Yeah, like everyone's out here, bro. Fuck Influencers, yeah. Everyone. athletes, rappers, you know. So, um, my first artist, my first famous person was um, hey, I don't know if you guys listen to Corridos, yeah, but it's called Eslabon Armado. Yes, I saw you post that. Yeah, yeah. So that was my first first one. Oh shit. Um, they posted, and this was like when they blew up with, I forgot once a song. Con tus besos. Oh, uh, labios rojos, no? Uh, not labios rojos, but it's called con tus besos. Is that what it's called? Whatever the fuck, no. yeah. Yeah, but... Um, you're right, it is con... Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you're right. So they posted like, oh, we need a barber in LA or whatever. And I got so much supporters, bro. Out of all Everybody. the people, the famous people, it's because of my supporters. Damn. A lot of it because of barber, like, connects. Yeah. But a lot of it because of my supporters. Mm. So... He posted, boom, I cut him. Or fucking Nathaniel Cano, fucking, or oh, um, who who does color or haircut and color. 
like everybody knows I fucking do haircut and I do color, whatever. They'll tag me, tag me, tag me, tag me. <sighs> and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna reach out because I was receiving the tags. Yeah. And boom. And then and then they reached out to me. I went to Nathaniel Cano. Then I cut up everybody from Rancho Millage. Gerencia Patrones, JD, fucking Damn. Everardo, fucking Cachato, Marque MP. And then uh, my biggest, like, Mexican artist, like, uh, was Grupo Firme. Oh, shit. JP uh, and them? Uh, uh, Erwin Cas, Grupo Firme. Mm. Damn. So um, his barber from Tijuana, T- TJ, follows me on IG. Now, because I have a big following, so now, like, People who are just starting like barbering, they look at me now. It's like the tables have turned. Yeah, yeah. Like, damn, this guy has like fucking hundred k followers. I'm gonna follow him. You know? Yeah, like, work is fucking dope. So this TJ barber like reached out to me like, "Hey, bro, like, are you in LA? Like, yeah, what's up? Like, oh, um, Edwin Cos from Group of Feedman and needs a haircut and color. He's gonna be at Coachella." I was like, oh shit, like fuck yeah. yeah. I was cutting hair or whatever, bro. Like I honestly had two more appointments. Can't I reached out to him, like, hey bro, like I'm gonna cut these fools up. And they already know because I would I've been cutting already famous people. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, cool. Yeah. You know, like if he tells me like bro, like I need a haircut, like, bro, like are you fucking yeah, serious, bro? bro? I wanna cut the people feed him in. I'm yeah. sorry, bro. Like <laughs> Damn, I gotta fucking bro. go. Like this is a one in a lifetime yeah. like chance, you know? Like I'll I'll cut your hair, bro, for free and like tomorrow, bro. Yeah. Like, on me. It's cool. Oh, that's cool. You know, I don't care. I would have still charge him. You know? <laughs> So then, yeah, then I went to Coachella, fucking painted, uh, colored his hair. That shit, so he performed at Coachella. That shit came out on the news, on Univision. Like, fuck. Like, when I posted him, everybody, like. Was like, damn. Like, everybody from back home, bro. Like, obviously, like, we talk about that girl. Like, she's famous from Vacaville. Mm-hmm. But I feel like uh, there's another uh, famous person from Vacaville. His name is Tony Gonslin, pitcher, L.A. Dodgers. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's from Vacaville. We're from the same uh, class. That's but then, it. like, everybody supports me from back home. Like, they see me, like, I grew, like, big. But, um, I don't know. To this day, I don't feel like I'm big. Like, I don't know. Just, nah, you're pretty like, big, you know? bro. You're pretty <laughs> fucking big. So, but, when you're, like, cutting, like, these people up, do you still talk to them as you would, like, a normal uh, So, at client? first, I was super nervous, bro. Like, like well, yeah, the fuck you know, the they're fuck? fucking famous. But to this day now, uh, it's been maybe, like, three years now that I've been cutting famous people and I was like, whatever. Yeah, it's like, you no know, more. so then uh, it went from Mexican artists and then obviously YouTubers, like people started following me. So um, my first YouTuber, like other than Benny, was uh, Gabriel Zamora and then I cut Louis Castro, Adam Ray from TikTok. I started mm-hmm. cutting his hair and I don't know who else, what other YouTubers. How did that happen? From the YouTube shit or just? Yeah, just the YouTube shit because they follow me and... I don't know. They just wanted. Where else is color like fucking Chris Blends? Go yeah. to Chris Blends. Go to Chris Blends. So then it went from there, and then um, I believe I believe a lot on manifestation, bro. Yeah. Like everything I fucking like done, like throughout my whole like even to this day, I manifested, mm-hmm. and it's crazy because I say whatever I say happens. Like, yeah. Like maybe not tomorrow, but a week later but or it does come. a month later, it always happens. Everything I've done. It's happened. So it came to a point where, like, my clients were like, oh, shit, like, who do you want to cut next and stuff like that? Like, honestly, bro, like, I feel like I'm tired of cutting, like, like influencers or, like, Mexican artists. Like, I want to move more into, like, reggaeton, like, rap artists yeah. or rappers or athletes. Once I said that, boom. You know Jake Cortez? Mm-hmm. Hit you. Yeah. Uh, his barber hit me up from Puerto Rico. Damn. Now, the reason why he hit me up, because I went to Puerto Rico once. This was when I first started cutting hair. His name is Michael the Barber, and I went to his shop, and I cut. I was like, like I hit him up on IG, like, "Hey, I'm visiting Puerto Rico. I want to get a haircut." Boom! I pulled to the shop. I got a cut by him. Boom! We became hella cool. And then a year later, he connected me with him. Yeah, that's totally so showed We're up, texting. Bro. We're texting. Jake, me and Jaco, and he ended up canceling on me last minute. But it's okay. Like I was like, fuck it. Like I was, yeah, I, I'm just glad this barber thought of me out of everybody. Out of everybody, LA, you know. Yeah. So it's cool. It's gonna happen one day. And then uh, later on, um, uh, some guy from Miami said, um, "I need a barber for French Montana in L.A. or whatever," you know. And then again, supporters fucking tag me, tag me, tag me, <laughs> and it happened same shit with Trey Lance for the 49ers. Fucking um Yeah, you've had some pretty big fucking names. Trey bro. Lance, French Montana. Oh bro, I even cut Gunna. For what? real? Yeah. In that, jail. That, no, that, the day after I cut Edwin Grupo Firme. So Damn. like, okay. I went to do Grupo Firme's hair. I got home at like at five in the morning, right? Uh-huh. And the next day was Saturday. 
and uh which well, that day was saturday and i had to cut hair at 7 a.m so i was like on two hours of sleep so i, I got down at 12 and then i get a fucking text message bro or a dm from gunner's manager like what? hey are you still in coachella like how the fuck do you know like i'm con- i was in coachella yeah so maybe they saw my tag because i posted like you know uh-huh. coachella something and i was like no i'm not and it's like oh um my uh I need a haircut for my VIP, VIP client. He just said VIP client. So I just responded like, who's this VIP client? And he's like, gonna. I was like, what? This was before all that shit happened. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I was like, what, for real? Like, okay, fuck it, you know? And like, what time is it gonna be this? It's always late night, bro. Like, yeah. You know? And then it's never on time, bro. They mean, tell me 10, I'm gonna cut in them at fucking 11 or 11.30. Yeah. But whatever bro i i'll be there for to take it like to cut them up and for a picture because that for me is my uh resume like yeah. i use my ig yeah. as my resume oh yeah. this guy, this guy. Oh, yeah. and that's how trey lance 49ers quarterback he posted like i need a barber in la people start tagging me and when he reached out to me he's like hey bro like when we talking like in the chair when i went to his uh uh airbnb he's like out of like 200 300 barbers i chose you because i saw you cut french montana so it's like this, this guy's down. fucking real you yeah know? that's smart so that's bro. why like what? yeah so <laughs> sick. so Never back to the gunner bro like i fucking drove back all the way to coachella right <laughs> you love driving bro bro for <laughs> real bro this i put a mileage on my fucking car bro gonna got scared that bro, tell think, me why think. okay I, I gave free mileage to 50 50 000 miles you, tell they, me why bro like it was like last month it's like oh this is your last freak my legs are like, what already? You just got the shit. <laughs> I got the shit like last year, bro. Like, fuck, now I have to fucking pay for my shit. <laughs> bro, I could have drove to the moon and back. Bro. Like, fuck. fuck, should have became an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, bro. So, I'm over here driving to Coachella, bro. And then, okay, bro, oh my God. So, um, <laughs> I, I hit up one of my barber homies because honestly, bro, like, I don't want to, I'm going to pull up like at midnight. like Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's there or whatever. I don't want to pull up solo. Like, yeah, hey, bro, Rob, you want to go with me? Cool. I hit him up. <laughs> We're driving there, bro. We get there like fucking like 2 a.m. I think. Damn. 2 a.m. We drove at midnight. I got there at 2 a.m. Okay. And I hit up the manager. Like, hey, I'm here. Like, okay, hold up. C- give me a sec. I'm over here waiting in the car like 15 minutes, bro. And then she reaches back like, hey, um, uh, I just woke him up. Gunner was sleeping. Oh, like, shit. You made me drive all the way over here and yeah, you sleeping. Yeah, right? Oh, my God. And I'm like, all right. So we're walking in. Bro, it was a whole fucking party in there, bro. Like, literally, what? bro. Bro, it was crazy because, like, it was the aftermath, though. Yeah. Literally, like, I saw bodies, bro. Like, just fucking, up. like, out, like. One in the kitchen fucking counter, like the bar, there was this guy like this. <laughs> and then he saw me like pass walk by, he looked at me, and he just went back to sleep or some <laughs> shit. There was girls fucking everywhere, and it was just like a bunch That's of, there's a-, a bunch of like people in the backyard. And I'm like, all right, um, I'm here, you know? So I'm here setting up, bro, clean my setup and everything, clippers, razor, you know, it's trimmer and everything. This guy pulls up, right, sits down in my chair. This fool has a hat. Like, all right, you know, like, he has dreads, okay? But, like, are what you even saying? Oh, he just sits down with his bro, hat on. If you go to my picture, bro, Gunner, he has his fucking hat on. <laughs> like, all right, like, and then sometimes when I meet people, some some people are uh, super cool and humble, and some people are, or like, just dicks. Or dicks. So, like, I would say, like, he was a dick, bro. I don't know, maybe he was on some shit or whatever, but whatever. Um, It's like, all right, bro, so, how do you, like, do you want to give you a taper or what, whatever? Like, nah, just clean up my face or whatever. Like, what? I drove, like, fucking almost two hours just to fucking, like, clean your face and lighten up your mustache? I didn't and even know he had a mustache. Bro, like, hella thin, bro. Yeah. Hella thin, bro. Hella <laughs> thin, bro. Anything else, he was like, thin. It's like a fucking pencil, bro. Like, i like, bro, okay. So I'm over here, okay, fuck it. Like, I'm putting a fucking, like, blade on my razor. Like, oh, no, not that. Because I guess he gets, like, irritated. Sensitive skin, yeah. Sensitive skin. So he just wants me to use a trimmer. Like, bro, you could have done this yourself, bro. <laughs> well, oh, let me ask you something before you keep going. What do you charge for something like this for an influencer or rapper or I whatever I just charge fuck? everybody what I normally charge a normal person. Okay. Because I look at it this way. like He's like 7000 okay. <laughs> I look at it this way. Perfect example. Like the Laker player, mm-hmm. Rui. Um, I guess uh, another barber tried to like charge him 500 for a house call. Oh, shit. And I just charged 200 Like, fuck it, 200 
Uh, depends. Maybe it's further to fifty three hundred, but locally here LA, I do two hundred. So yeah, he went with me, and now I come every week. Damn. But for me personally, the money will come. Uh, for me, the connection exposure. is more exposure. And the connection, the relationship is more valuable to me. Yeah, it'll take you way further. Because, bro, like, put it this way. I cut Rui, right? Um, if they go to practice or a game, LeBron sees his haircut or something. Who if he likes cut? it, or like, hey, who cut your hair? Like, oh, this guy. Boom. Rui hits me up the next day. Hey, bro, like, can you, you cut LeBron? Can you cut LeBron? I'm about to fuck LeBron James, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, that's fuck? crazy. That's fucking you know? nuts. So I'd rather, like, take that route. Then try to charge somebody charge 800 bucks. Just get a quick buck. Yeah, I miss, I missed my opportunity. I could I could have cut a Laker player, bro. Like, you know? So that's just where still. I told him it was 200. Line up his goatee. That's it. Boom, that's it. And I was there for, like, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, bro, for a fucking two-hour and a half drive, bro. And... That's Did you it. talk to him at all during? Yeah, he was just quiet. Like, I tried to, but like he was just like hella quiet. You know, he probably on some shit. Or yeah. I don't know. So I was, uh, I was ready. Oh, now him. he wants to be hella quiet. You know, was, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was a good one. Have, has uh, <laughs> has people like the famous people have they ever like given you like shit like, hey, bro, like you know, just come to a Laker game? Um. No. Um. Marca Mepe. You know, like. The mm. group, mm. yeah, he's giving me tickets. He'll go every oh, time I put him, uh, go to his concerts. That's fucking yeah, tight. That's backstage, fucking cool. everything, bro. It's cool. That's cool. Um, cool. Anybody else? No, not really. I don't think so. I think I'm on top of my head. Bro, imagine if you cut the president. Fuck, go to the White House or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you would do it, too. You would drive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll go, bro. <laughs> be like, we're going to send hey, you a helicopter. Don't worry, driving, I got a tank. Bro. I already put 50,000 miles already, bro. Hey, can you come to the White House? I'm outside. How the like, fuck? <laughs> On my way, bro. I'm about to hit put a hundred thousand miles in the bitch, bro. Like <laughs> pulls up in the tank. <laughs> the tank just they, dr- they drives through <laughs> the fucking gates. <laughs> fucking shoot his ass. Fucking breaks the way you work no more. <laughs> it's the barber. <laughs> the fucking bombing him and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I left Gunner's house and I was like, bro, there's a bunch of people in the back, right? Yeah. Like, oh no, uh on my way back, bro. I was like, me and a barber, like, bro, like, did this shit really happen? Like, yeah. Bro, it's already like fucking almost three in the morning. Like, hey, bro, you take the wheel, bro. Oh, <laughs> so you smashed back home right after? Yeah, bro. Literally. But what time did you get home? Fucking like 5 a.m. I think. Damn. Oh, bro. So, whatever. I had the picture. Like, fuck it. You know? That's cool, though. Yeah, I know. That, that is, that's yeah, a hard ass picture. Bucks, you know? At in this point, bro, I'm single. I have no kid. Like, fuck it. I'm going to do it right now. What else know? am I going to do? Yeah. What else am I going to do? You know? So, we're driving back. Like, bro, imagine who was in the fucking back. Like, it was probably somebody. It, it could have been a little baby or it could have been somewhere else. Like, Big, you know, like I should have went back there, and like, hey, bro, like, can I smoke like outside or something? And maybe I could have been around other rappers, bro, at that time. Oh, you didn't even go. You didn't. I didn't even go to the back. Oh, I bet. You know, I just went fucking straight to the front. Like I'm out. Like, could have been Young Thug, yeah. Future. It, it could have been Young Thug. Could have been Future, bro. Kinda like crazy. little baby. That would have been fucking fire. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Imagine that. Yeah. So then, how was my rappers? You know, because I even told my clients like, yeah, I want to transition transition to athletes and rappers. Mm-hmm. You know, and then that's it. And then uh, same thing with Rui, Trey Lance. Like Trey Lance, he's a, he was in the 49ers, and I'm a Raider fan, bro. Like, you know, it's it's, it's the fucking you're cutting it, bay, fuck bro. you, bro. Cutting his hair. You know? <laughs> he even asked me like, you watch football? Like, hey, what's your team? Or oh, like, I was like, oh, uh, 49ers. <laughs> I'm over here writing Raiders on in the back of his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, fuck. He said, You feel me? But he has no idea until he's he has fucking no idea. It says Raiders, like, bitch. Show him the mirror. It says Raiders. Uh, it says you, Raider what? Nation, bitch. Yeah, what do you fuck, think? Put a fucking dick in his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, and then, and honestly, bro, at this point, bro, okay. Um, oh, the last rapper I cut was, uh, was uh, Rich the Kid. Oh, shit. Oh, I just saw that. Yeah. yeah. Rich the Kid. So. Technically now, there's this guy named Marcus. Mm. Uh, he's P. Diddy's barber. So he has this guy I'm pretty much under his wing now, and this other barber named Mark the Barber. Mark the Barber is the one that connected me with French Montana. Oh, shit. So now I'm under his wing because yeah. of Mark the Barber. Damn. Like, so, yeah, he cut French. And the thing is, I'm always available. Like, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. So he's connected me with another guy named Benny the Jeweler. I don't know if you know Benny the Jeweler. I think so. Yeah, he's he works with a lot of like artists and stuff. Will Smith, P D D, like a bunch of people. Fuck, that's a whole another. So um, movie. no. What was it? Super Bowl, Super Bowl weekend. Fucking um. The one that just passed. Yeah, he hit me up and like, hey, bro, like, cause I was supposed to go 
to Arizona just to go, bro. I was like, uh-huh. I'm, I wasn't gonna go to the Super Bowl, but just like, fucking pull up, just pull up to the bar or whatever, you know. So um, I hit him up like, hey, bro, because I know a lot of people are gonna be there, and I was like, hey, um, if any of your clients like need a haircut, like I'll be at the Super Bowl. I'm like, cool, I got you. And an hour later, like, hey, P D D sons need haircuts, whatever. Uh, what's his name? Fucking King Combs. Uh, King Combs and Prince, whatever. So we're I was texting fucking that guy Prince, whatever. And I just didn't end up going to Arizona, bro. So I kind of missed my chance. Like I could have cut P D D sons. I don't come back around. You know, I'm surprised you didn't around, drive you know? there. Yeah, why didn't you end up? Honestly, I didn't want to go myself. It was supposed oh, to, it was okay, supposed okay. to be me and another homie. We technically had to, but. He was doing towel on his floor. He's like, all right, well, I should be done by like 1 p.m. and oh, we'll right. take off. And so I told uh, Prince, like, yeah, I should be there like maybe 7 or 8 or whatever. And like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. And then the homie was like not even like halfway done. And he has a girl, his kids. Like, he didn't want to leave like his family yeah. with a half fucking floor <laughs> in for a fucking Super Bowl, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's a fucked up situation. So, yeah. And I was like, fuck, should I go, you know? But, but what if I go and then I, I guess cancel or whatever? And you're in Arizona by yourself. I'm around by myself. You, you get home, don't worry, you get home three hours. Yeah, you know. I'll fucking drive back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Make it a six hour fucking drive. Bust yeah. into the Super Bowl with that tank. Yeah. Who does the tank anyway? <laughs> no, yeah, that. So, yeah. So I missed that opportunity. And then, but he plugged me with Rich the Kid. And now Rich the Kid manager reached out to me. I guess Rich the Kid liked the way I cut his hair. Oh, that's so, sick. So uh, I ended up cutting his hair again like two weeks ago. Yeah. So whenever he's in LA, he's gonna keep hitting me up. That is fucking fly. Yeah. So, um, so hopefully, like, I'm gonna say in this podcast, like, either because these barbers, Marcus and Mark the barber, they cut, they cut DJ Khaled, they cut up uh, Kanye West, they cut up Drake, they cut oh, up Will fuck. Smith. Who else? Well, obviously P Diddy. So around that circle, I'm gonna end up cutting next. Yeah, for sure. Why don't you start doing like your own little podcast when you're cutting? Like well, like that. I just want like I didn't really want to do it in my old studio. Mm. No, 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 I mean like when you're traveling and shit. I want to traveling or when you're fucking or cutting I'll, up. I like... was even thinking about like, like say for example like, like yesterday I cut up this reggaeton artist Justin Quiles, mm. and he's an old OG reggaeton artist. Oh shit! Like that's a crazy because you you even said like who's that? You yeah, know? but he's... a lot of people know know him, so I didn't get much love when I posted him. Cause I feel like not them. Your out. following is younger yeah. people, though, not <clears throat> usually. Yeah, for the most part, I think it's younger. But I'm thinking about like like taking like a little micro here. And just, That's what like, I'm saying. You know, like because imagine you had a him. fucking gunna interview so, or not him, but because like, I put him on my vlog, bro. Because like, I started vlogging when I, I when I did the moving. So yeah. I'm I haven't posted a vlog in four months, but like fuck yeah. it, I started up again the moving process and everything, and I ended up where I was cutting him up. Yeah. And uh, I have I have a I made two songs. I made two music videos. Oh shit. I, like, no, I saw that too. Yeah, okay, like, were you rapping or what the fuck? Bro, honestly, when I'm drunk, bro, we used to freestyle and shit, you know, whatever. Yeah, bro, you, know? you are like the fucking, the Incredible Hulk. Like, what the <laughs> fuck, dog? We, we just, uh, bro, I ain't lie, bro. I fucking, I could get down, bro. When I'm drunk and freestyle, bro, like, I will fucking like. We have to invite him. When I'm just bro, like, getting like, fucked it, up. I don't know. For some reason, I could think of shit hella cool and I just look at you like, oh, I'm going to roast your ass. Like, and you I just start you. spitting. You just start spitting, bro. Like, people know. like, And then I come out with some clean shit. And then that's when Benny started, like, because uh, we were, like, start battling rapping each other. And then he actually took it serious. He made a couple songs and videos. Like, and then we have another homie named Joe Maynard. And then uh, I made a song with him first. So I made, I dropped a song on Valentine's Day, like, uh, not last year, but the prior, like a love breakup song. <laughs> uh, it was cool. Music video and everything. It was a Damn, vibe. Bro. And then... And then last summer, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to switch it up. So my other homie, he's from Bakersfield, he does like reggaeton Spanish. Like, let's make a song together. So we made a song with Maze Vader. So that one's like more like ratchet, like shaking ass. Like, it's That's what he posted. Cool. So um, I vlogged that guy when I was coming yesterday. Like, hey, bro, like, we're just talking about like music and a bunch mm. of shit. Like, I told him I make songs. And I was like, you want to watch the video? Like, fuck it. He's like, you mind if I catch your reaction though? What do you think? And he fuck with it. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. that's, that's bro. sick. He fuck with it. I, I know, but I ain't like like I don't really have the voice for it. Like I'm not no singer or nothing. Like I wish I can sing, you know. But fucking use some auto tune, bro. Like, you fucking cool. Ninety percent of the people are here. Do yeah, yeah. So uh, to this day, like I hop on the booth still. I'm like fuck it, like that's fucking know? sick. My <laughs> next, fucking... my next one. So I've done a love song. I've done a reggaeton song. The next one I want to do a corrido. Ooh, corrido yeah. be hard. Corrido, since I already have the fucking hair, you know. 
I was gonna say yeah. okay, I didn't want to say nothing. I yeah. was like, is your hair just because you did it like that? No, nah, I'm just fucking <laughs> switching it out, trying to let it grow. That's know? fly, bro. You That's fine. So we already up. started though. Huh? We can just yeah. keep going like yeah, this. You, yeah, you just see, ask the question. See what's up, you know? So, yeah, fuck it. so I probably put like some botas, a tejana, you know, straight. And then buy this a Rado Eck or what? You know, like, <laughs> slam it on 24. I'm gonna go buy it again, you know? Like, hey, let me just buy it for the day, you know? She has another million miles up. Fuck. She has a jet airplane motor. What, 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 what was that uh, question? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, you've cut a bunch of influential people and shit. But, like, if you could pick out of anybody ever to cut, like, who would you be your favorite? It would be Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny? Why? Because, um, I don't know, bro. I've, I've listened to him ever since, like, I lived in Stockton, bro. Mm. Ever since, like, Chambea, Chambea. I don't know if you guys know that song. The first, like, one of the first you know? big ones he had. You know, all that song. And then, at one point, when I started blowing up on YouTube, I had, like, a little signature move, whatever, when I take pictures. I would always put my finger like this. Mm -hmm. Like, if you scroll back, all my pictures are like this, or like that. <laughs> well, like, literally. Because Bad Bunny will go like this. Like, he'll do shit like that. Yeah. You know? And I remember one time, bro, I even fucking went to um, Papa some Beer Spring Break. <laughs> Bro, I cut my hair like Bad Bunny. I put like the fucking design. No, yeah. You know, how, how yeah. short he had it. I would fucking pull up. Bro, people thought I was really like Bad Bunny. Like, <laughs> bro, you guys are fucking drug. Like, go take Is that Bad Bunny? Go take another shot, you know? <laughs> it was fucked up. Nah, that's know? good, Bunny. That's, you know? <laughs> that's yeah, Bad Rabbit. That's, that's Bad <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Bad barber. <laughs> Bad hair. <laughs> El peluquero malo. Yeah. Rabbit barber. Well, that's a crazy ass name. All right, anyways. So, obviously, we talked but about... Yeah, it would be bad money, bro. Like, eventually, I'm manifesting. Like, you know, it's going to happen one day, bro. Like, you know. That'd be fucking And sick. I ain't lie, bro. I'm going to bring the signature move again. Like, hey, but can, Boom. You, can you do that shit, too? And we both going to fucking do that shit. That'd, That'd be a hard ass shit. That'd be a banger the caption, picture. peluquero malo. Bad barber. <laughs> That's Literally, big. with the bunny emoji, with the barber emoji. Who has this shit planned? You have to post same thing, bro. And whenever I post pictures, bro, like I try to like think of a caption, bro. Sometimes yeah, that fucking stress, bro. Like you're like fuck, like I'm over an hour, like no, I'm I the best. Post it. Nah, it's too fucking late to post, bro. Ah, like, uh, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll post tomorrow. You know? Bro, that's a hard ass caption. But anyway, so um, as we went back, you talked about how you had the, your previous relationship where you guys had broke shit off yeah. so now i wanted to bring you up like since the fact that you'd be bouncing around a bunch and shit like that would you ever don't look at people <laughs> who's already laughing all right, anyways so um he got all serious huh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy so, so da, 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 da. okay like come on we'll just ask a question regularly <laughs> so anyways um since you bounce around a lot of shit would you ever like think about settling down or is that something that might take away from the time you have no honestly bro I mean, you like... are 40 so <laughs> You ever, see, you ever seen that meme, bro? <laughs> that old guy? I'm ready to settle down. That's gonna be me, bro. Hey, but you're a barber at 95? <laughs> with, the, with the tank? <laughs> You're going down in history, dog. Bad Bunny might ask for a picture with you. <laughs> oh, fuck. But, uh, man, okay. Honestly, bro, I've only been in, like, three relationships. One in middle school, but that time was in the camp. This guy brought up a middle school. Bro, bro that, that count, was 90 bro. years ago, bro. <laughs> yeah, that shit don't count. And then high school, and when I was, like, 16 by 21, then I was single for, like, five years or four years. <laughs> Wait, you're and in a relationship for five years? No, you're no, single. No, single for four years. <laughs> this and then, then, tears rolling yeah. down his face. <laughs> bro, y'all make you fucking laugh. <laughs> He's crying. Fucking guy, bro. Y'all make you fucking no. laugh, bro. He no. misses the take? Oh, God. He's thinking about the mama Lona right now. He's like, fuck. <laughs> bro, this podcast is hella funny, yeah. bro. Bro, it's just like, this is supposed to be serious. Yeah, no, fuck. This is probably the most, like, laughing hey, podcast bro. we've had. This one was trying to ask a serious question. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. That's, that's <laughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs> My fault. People are gonna settle down. Yeah, eventually, bro. But honestly, bro, like, that's not really in my mind right now. I really like. It's gonna stop tears, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, bro. Come on, let's get it. Don't make me laugh. Hello, bro. bro. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, eventually, I wanna settle down, bro. But. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, next question. Fuck yeah. Well, I remember, I remember the fucking question. Oh, so anyways, right now you said that you had an OnlyFans on top of everything else. <laughs> well, on the list of shit this guy can do. But yeah, um, back to that. But yeah, I'm gonna settle down, bro, eventually. But like, <laughs> who cares? Who cares? We already skipped that question. No, okay. All right, go, go. You, you, you want to settle down? Uh, eventually, but not right now, you know. Okay. <laughs> you have, a, you have an age in mind? Uh, not really, but just like if it happens, it happens. Like it could happen, like probably this week. Like, man, girl, I meet a girl and I'm like, oh shit, you know? Yeah. 
but I don't look for it. Mm. If it just happens naturally, like, fuck it, you know? Mm. But I'm really picky. Like, I'm not even fucking, like, I need some girl, like, I don't know. It's gonna hold you down and shit. Yeah, you know? I feel that. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, you know. <laughs> what, what if you meet her and she has the Silverado? What happened? <laughs> she has the Silverado? Oh, you meet her cool ass? <laughs> no. He said, nah. He about it. nah. <laughs> oh, what fuck. the fuck were we going the, with? The OnlyFans. Only OnlyFans. Fans. Yeah, yeah. Since fucking, you, you said you also have an OnlyFans. How's that? Oh, yeah. It's cool, bro. Um, what made you want to start it? Just because? Just because, bro. Like, fuck it. <laughs> you already got a tank, a truck, cup, fucking everybody open. Like fuck, it. like, fuck it, bro. Like, a little extra income and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah fuck, <laughs> Have you know? seen that one uh, girl barber where she sits, she on, sits on that? What happened to her, bro? I, I think she got her shit deleted. Did she? Yeah, but she's still around. Let oh, me find out that's what you do on your OnlyFans. Yeah, no, nah, you know what you should do? You should hire her at the shop. Damn. You go crazy. And he gets a haircut. It's just him getting the haircut every day. Fuck. I just, fuck. Like, but at some point, he's just a new barber. Like, he's just bald. She's still cutting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I just did it, bro. It's I only, I've only promoted it twice, bro. I was I'm about to say because it's not on your LinkedIn or yeah. I, not that I look for yeah. it. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is what I go subscribers. Oh, hey, he only has one subscriber. He's like, hey, can, it's me. Can you promote it one more time? I DM him. Can I get a cut? Okay. Subscribe. New subscriber. Nick and I. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> No, that's tight though. So you just did it kind of to fuck around and shit. Yeah, just to fuck around, bro, and see what's up, you know. But um, <laughs> I've only promoted twice because I'm not even hundred percent about it. Mm. But honestly, like, for promoting like ones, and then I made a cool like fucking maybe like six racks. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. I, well, you do have like 110 like k, so like in two months, so like three k a month, you know. That's, that's not that's bad. Good. Um, it's a full time job. And then some other girl I'm cool with, like she has her OnlyFans, so. I like fuck it, shout out, shout out, whatever. Yeah. So she shot me out. I shot her out. Like fuck it, and everybody's DMing me like, bro, did you smash? Did you smash? Like, what? what, what? I was like, bro, fucking like subscribe, bro. Find out, and shit, you know. <laughs> subscribe to find smart. out. Smart. Find out. That is, that is smart as fuck. But yeah, as of now, like I've only promoted twice, and um, I have someone just managing my shit, bro. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, I feel you. whatever, you know. That's that's good though. I make like three k a month right now so far. Shit, that's not bad. Yeah. Damn, that's really good. But I feel like it's another job, bro. It is another job. So that's bro. why I was like, man, I'm gonna try it out the first month by myself. I was like, it's just too, too much. much I'm to already trying with. to do this, trying to do that. Like, bro, at one point I'm be cutting hair, I'm gonna tattooing, I'm gonna be doing only fans, <laughs> jack like, it off, like a whole bunch of shit, you know? <laughs> drinking a coffee, the beer, drinking <laughs> coffee, so gonna be pouring me coffee. Fuck it, I'm gonna you have your brand on. How many of them on Malona? Like, <laughs> A uh, tanks in the background. It what? becomes a music video. Fuck, you know, French. It's so. French Montana's song. <laughs> yeah, so it's whatever. We'll, we'll see whatever happens. Yeah, we'll see that. what happens. Yeah. yeah. Well, boom! I think we hit all the topics. This is a good ass podcast. But, we was all bro, honestly, shit. I fuck with this podcast. Bro. Nah, this one was, was fun. I'm glad. I'm glad you pulled cool, up, bro. You know, this was fucking this dope. Was fun yeah. as fuck. My fault for hitting up like super late. We usually plan yeah, earlier, yeah. but you fucking post that shit on Tuesday, and I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? You're right here. So boom. But yeah, that's cool. It's cool, bro. Like honestly, like like I said, like I'm down for it. I don't even care what time. Yeah. Well, fuck, we know. You went to fucking Coachella at 3 in the morning <laughs> for morning, 5 minutes. Like, hey, bro, you want to do a podcast at 3 in the morning? <laughs> yeah, where are you guys at? Arizona. I'll be there. <laughs> fuck. We do the podcast in the truck. Oh, no, nah, dog. You guys are <laughs> but, um, Thank you guys again for stopping by another week, another banger. It's going to keep coming at you. Thank you guys for the support and love. All of his socials will be in the in the description. <laughs> like, all of them. All of them. <laughs> it's fucking the description. There'll be two descriptions. One for him, one for the video. Shame. But, uh... I'm going to end up doing fucking 24-7 <laughs> contractors. Yeah, <laughs> Book going to start a, another business after this. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this. A bunch yeah. of knowledge and shit. And it's cool to see yeah, yeah. a barber, especially somebody that's, you know, I'm not local, but close enough so it's yeah. cool to show people coming up yeah hope you guys enjoyed this podcast i just want to say thank you guys for having me and this thank podcast you for coming thank you for pulling fun, up. bro this shit was super funny bro yeah i've okay. never fucking cried bro <laughs> yeah. long, bro we'll see like, like, bro i was fucking tearing bro and then you look so, back at the camera and he's like oh yeah it's okay hey, fucking that's gonna be the thumbnail bro <laughs> <laughs> we made him cry during his podcast and then it's just him laughing <laughs> all right fuck it oh, we're done God. peace